This is a pawn. Pawns are easily identified in a chess set by the fact that they are usually smaller than the chess pieces and by the fact that there are eight pawns of each color. In a chess game, pawns move one square at a time, always forward, never backwards or sideways. From its position on e5, this white pawn can move to only one square, e6. On the pawn's first move of the game, and only the first move, each pawn has the option of moving two squares forward. In this setup, the pawn on f2 can move to f3, or it can move to f4. However, the pawn on d3 has already moved once in this game, from d2 to d3. So it can now move only one square forward to d4. On the black side, the pawn on b7 can either move one square to b6 or two squares to b5. But the pawn on e6 has already moved once, so it can now only move one square forward to e5. Like all of the pieces except the knight, pawns cannot jump over their own pieces. In this setup, the white pawn on d3 is blocked by its own bishop on d4, so the pawn can't move at all. Only pawns have a different way of capturing than moving. To capture, pawns always move one square diagonally. Note the pawn on e4. It can move forward to e5, but it can also capture the black bishop on d5 or the black knight on f5. Pawn takes knight. Now look at the black pawn on f6. It's blocked by its own knight on f5, but it can capture the white bishop on e5. The white rook on h4 is two squares away, so it cannot be captured. Pawn takes bishop. Pawns are the weakest member of the chess army because of their limitations in movement. However, when the pawns work together, they're an important part of your army. Pawns are very important to the game strategically, and sometimes a single pawn can make the difference between winning and losing.